I love food and I have a huge sweet tooth. And if I were to choose my very favorite sweet treats, I would say it's a toss up between fruit crumble or any kind of fruit pie and fresh baked warm chocolate chip cookies. I mean, if you've had a really great chocolate chip cookie right out of the oven, I mean, there's just not much better than that when it comes to food. So I'm here in Utah right now. It's April, which should be spring, but it's a snowstorm. We've had loads of snow the last two days. It's freezing and it's actually snowing lightly right now, but we are on a quest because this area of the country, Utah, is known for some great cookies. There are a lot of cookie shops that have started here. And one of them that I'm about to go to first is Crumble Cookies. Now, the first time I had Crumble Cookies, it was before my YouTube channel. And I went to one in Salt Lake City near uh, Temple Square. And I remember going in there and getting just a plain chocolate chip cookie and it was warm and I ate it and I thought, this is the best cookie I've eaten in my entire life. But there are other chocolate chip cookie chains around here that also claim to be just as good, if not better. So sounds like a good opportunity for a taste test. So the first place we're gonna go is Crumble Cookies, which I've had before. Um, and they actually it started out just this little Utah chain. When I first went there, I'd never heard of them before. Now there's hundreds of locations all over the United States and we even have one not far from us. I don't go there regularly because they're actually so sweet and so indulgent. I, kind, I can't even eat a whole one, um, but they are good. And the only way to tell how they stack up against these other awesome cookies is to eat them in a taste test. <laughs> it's kind of like a pub crawl of cookie shops. We're just going to go to one after another today, as many as we can fit in and try all the chocolate chip cookies. It's a hard job, but you know us. We do it for you, the subscribers in the Magenta Otter Tribe. So I'm here in snowy Riverton, Utah, about to enter this crumble cookies location. like they have Cadbury eggs on the sugar cookies. But we're just gonna be going for the milk chocolate chip. There's my cookie coming out of the warming oven and straight into the box for me. All right, here's our crumble cookie. Oh, milk chocolate chip. Now, I actually prefer semi-sweet, but Ian's a fan of milk chocolate chip, so we're gonna give this a go. I'm filming this taste test in the car, in the cold and snow. Look at this cookie. It's like as big as my face almost. <laughs> Now you know where I'm not gonna be eating a whole cookie. Not to mention the fact I'm trying to go to multiple cookie shops today. So we're gonna just take um, maybe a third of this cookie. Oh man. Thick, melty chocolate chips, nice thick. This cookie is chewy. I'm more of a soft and chewy cookie person than a crispy cookie. There's just different kinds of chocolate chip cookies and people like both kinds, but this is the kind I like. Mm-hmm. Very soft, warm, just fantastic. Now, I do think the milk chocolate chips with the sweet cookie dough, it's a little overly sweet, so I would prefer semi-sweet, but I'm not gonna lie, this is a fan fantastic cookie. I give this an 8 out of 10. If it were semi-sweet, I would give it a 9 or 9.5. 
but I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. I'm really enjoying this cookie. Well done, Crumble. It is still snowing and I'm going to stop at our next place, which is Chip. Now I've never eaten a Chip cookie before. I have some friends who say it is their very favorite chocolate chip cookie place. So I'm hoping they're open. The first cookie place we went today was closed. Yay, they were open. The cookies on offer were the OG, which is a milk chocolate chip, the Biscoff chip, a sugar cookie, the Cadbury chip, which has Cadbury eggs and white chocolate chips in it, and the SW, which has semi-sweet chunks in it and a sprinkling of sea salt on top. That's what I ordered. Okay, that was interesting. I went in and got the uh, chocolate chip cookie and then she was so nice. She gave me a Biscoff cookie on the house. So I'm not gonna be able to taste that right now. We will definitely be enjoying that later. The, here's the Biscoff cookie that has cookie, Biscoff cookie butter in the middle of it. And then it has white chocolate chips in it. That looks super delicious. And then here is the chocolate chip cookie not the OG with milk chocolate chips, but the semi-sweet chocolate chunk cookie with sea salt on top. That looks amazing. All right, here we go, trying this semi-sweet. Oh, it's, again, I gotta show you how big the cookie is relative to my face. <laughs> Seems like it's maybe a tiny bit smaller than the crumble cookie. Oh my goodness, it's so soft. I mean, I kind of do love that there's sea salt on the top. That's making me happy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm dipping, oh my goodness. It's like layers. Oh my, it's so gushy, I can barely hold it up. It's got like, what do you call the earth when it has the layers, like a sedimentary <laughs> striations? Oh, I have melted chocolate going everywhere. I'm a mess. Mmm, oh man, that is good straight from the warm oven. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad I didn't get the milk chocolate chip because this semi-sweet is the bomb. It is so good. That is one fat, delicious cookie. It's gonna make me a fat, delicious magenta otter, but I don't care. This is worth it, ma'am. Oh my goodness, there's so, I'm sorry, I can just keep saying it over and over again, but there's so much melted chocolate in here. The semi-sweet chocolate is fantastic, and with that sea salt on top, mm, this is a 10 out of 10 cookie experience. We will probably try another place or two, but this one's going to be hard to beat. Well done, Chip. It is still snowing like crazy. It's snowing more. So the rest of the cookie taste test will have to be postponed till <laughs> hopefully tomorrow. Well, there's still lots of snow on the ground and on the mountains, but it stopped snowing like crazy. So I'm able to drive around today and check out some other cookie shops. So I'm trying to come check out the cookies at Goodly Cookies, which is a new place I hadn't heard of before. But I'm not feeling good about this because the open light is not on and the closed sign is up, so. Yeah, I don't think this place is open yet. Goodly Cookies does not get to be part of the taste test because they are closed. And I asked at the shop next door about if this store has ever even been opened and they said their hours are kind of spotty, so. That sounds a little sus. I have a feeling Goodly Cookies might not make it. I'm headed into Crave Cookies. I've heard of these, but I've never had them before, so can't wait to see what they're like. Interesting selection here. Milk chocolate chip is what they have today, but if I had come on Thursday, I could have ordered semi-sweet chip. Darn. Then there are some super decadent things like a Cookie Monster Blue Cookie, a Biscoff Brownie, and a Scotcher Rookie. I ordered the milk chocolate chip, which was about $4, just like all the other cookies I'd been trying. But look at this little slice of Americana. They ask if I want to tip. I mean, I'm buying one cookie, which I've walked in here and ordered myself, and I'm going to pick up and take away by myself. 
There's no table service. Why should I be expecting to tip a buck or two? That would make this one cookie $6. That's insanity. Cookies without limits indeed. No limit to the amount they expect you to pay. One interesting thing is that these cookies are expensive. Uh, I've pretty much been paying about $4 for one cookie at all these different places, which when you think about the cost of making cookies at home, <laughs> that's a little shocking. <laughs> this Crave cookie is different because they serve it in a plastic container, unlike the little paper cartons at the other places. So from a sustainability standpoint, I gotta say, Crave is not winning points with their packaging. Inside the plastic box, the cookie is in a paper bag. Oh, of course, it's still warm. Yep, that's pretty big. And oh, look how thick it is. It's very thick. We will now do the famous size comparison. Is it as big as my face? <laughs> um, I think this cookie is a little bit smaller in circumference, but it's very thick. So let's check it out. I couldn't come here on Thursday because we're busy doing other stuff on Thursday. Oh my goodness, look really thick, really soft. It's kind of um, caving in all around my fingers. <laughs> so let's give this a try. Very, very soft and chewy. And I do love a soft and chewy cookie. It's just falling apart. <laughs> it's very good. I can taste the vanilla in it. The milk chocolate chips are good, but of course I would have preferred semi-sweet. However, I feel like the combination of this dough with the milk chocolate chips is not as cloyingly sweet as the crumble cookie. So I think I might, if I had to eat a milk chocolate chip cookie, I think I might prefer these to the crumble cookies. So like crumble might be an eight and this crave might be a nine. I still think the chip is a 10 out of 10, but I would happily eat these cookies at Crave. Well done, Crave. Now I'm in Provo, Utah for our final cookie stop. Here at the foot of these huge snowy mountains that look like Switzerland, we have a shop with a rather Swiss or German sounding name. Seuss Cookie Company. It's even got an umlaut over the U. Here at Seuss, their classic chocolate chip cookie features semi-sweet chips, so that's what I ordered. And even though I came here from Texas, I did not order the cowboy cookie. <laughs> okay, here we are for our final cookie taste test in the chocolate chip cookie wars of Utah. And I'm going home tomorrow. This is my last Utah chocolate chip cookie. One thing that's interesting here about the, the Seuss Cookie Company their packaging is much more simple. It still was almost $4, $3.76, including tax. Um, but it's just a little plastic bag. And it is not as warm and soft and gushy as the other ones. Um, it was made today, but the other places kind of took the cookie right out of the oven, warming oven thing. Um, so this is, I don't want to say cold, like ice cold, but it is a room temperature cookie. It's nice and soft. It would be softer if it were warm. I like that the, the cookie dough is not, or the, the cookie part, um, not the chocolate chips, but the dough that wraps around all the chocolate chips. It's not cloyingly sweet. I think crumbles dough is too sweet. And this one is not. Also, it's semi-sweet chocolate chips, which I do prefer. Nice chocolate flavor, but not, um, not overly sweet. So it's a very good cookie. And for a room temperature, not cooked in the last hour cookie, I think it's fantastic. I read a cookie taste test that a newspaper around here did of the best chocolate chip cookie in the area. And they actually said that Seuss was the best cookie and I do think it's very good, but I would give it like an eight, a seven and a, maybe a seven or eight on the 10 point scale. No, it's an eight. It's an eight. I think if you put this head to head with crumble and this were warm, 
that it would be a tough contest, but I still think that the chip, chocolate chip cookie was the best for me. So for me, my favorite is still the chip, semi-sweet chocolate chip cookie. That was my favorite. And for Ian, who also tried all these cookies off camera, um, we had some logistical issues, so he wasn't able to do the taste test with me for filming, but he tasted all of them and his favorite was Crave's milk chocolate chip cookie. So those are our favorites of the area, but really all of these are pretty dang good. If you're willing to spend four bucks for a cookie, <laughs> come to Utah and try one of the amazing chocolate chip cookies. Thanks so much for watching my cookie taste test and do something good in the world today.